to New Zealand, Christchurch. Isn't it a beautiful city? I've always believed that if we emotionally connect people to a problem, if we show them why this is important, then we just need to support them to figure out the best way to solve it. And so you need to decide the role that you want to play and use this week as a chance to do that and think, do I just want to be you know, on the sidelines or do I want to be someone who's driving the bus? You're going to hear from leaders across the business, you're going to hear from customers, and you're going to hear from people who are pioneering industries. It's going to give you a lot to think about and also set the path forward for where to next for us and what the next five, 10, and even 20 years looks like in the safety culture journey. I'm more determined than ever to build this into one of the most incredible companies in the world with everybody's help. We've got 3,000 manufacturing companies today. There are 300,000 manufacturing companies that we can target in the US alone. We could 100x this business in one industry, in one country. We can take any piece of content, PowerPoint, Word, OSHA training, and we can put it into the AI and we can spit out ready to use training in micro learning form in minutes. See, Microsoft replaced paper and became the first choice for every office worker in the world. But I came here to Safety Culture because I believe we have an even bigger opportunity in front of us today. Every time an item is marked as missing, an order is automatically sent to Marketplace in the background. It's easier than ever before to work with other companies in Safety Culture, allowing them to make sure that the right people are using the right device and everything is tracked correctly. Loan work will be available inside Safety Culture from August 31. There's only a few things that every single business needs. Energy, water, insurance. We've heard from our customers about leads and lags and bringing those two things together. That is what's going to make us different when we think about insurance at Safety Culture Care. And his wife was crying uncontrollably. It was then that he's saying he can't pay the mortgage. The injury had changed his life. And that was the passion that started it for me. And I thought, the system could have been better. I think the Horizon incident helped me to realize that I could face some fears and I could do things that some other people may not want to do. The pressure and the test wasn't cooperating with us, so we knew something was kind of up, but we didn't know that we were, we were waking a, a giant. It just reminds me and hopefully all of us, why we wake up each day and, and do what we do because people like Caleb have been through the consequences of not getting it right. When I talked about um, the 670,000 inspections that we did last year, that impacted 2 million people. I've never uh, pointed a finger of blame towards Transocean. It seemed appropriate to us to award you with the second time only ever that we've inducted a customer into the Safety Culture Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Safety Culture enables us to meticulously deliver on the complexity of every element of this realm open. You have to tell them the truth. When things aren't going well, you just recognize it. And, uh, but you also tell them when things aren't going well for you. Uh, because vulnerability in any performance environment is the best attribute you can have to the fastest improvement. We change our customers' lives by giving them the confidence they need to be great at their job. We will honour the ordinary people doing extraordinary things every day because their stories deserve to be heard. Our creation of the template editor and the way customers use it acknowledges two key things. The customer is the expert in their business and they understand the operation better than anyone on the planet. This is how we're going to solve incident management at Safety Culture. 
And this might surprise you on the answer. We're not. How about we let our customers create amazing incident management processes with our software? The people you're looking at right now is just a small list of the people that have confirmed with us and told us proactively, I've gotten a promotion, I've gotten recognition, I've gotten awarded as a result of using this platform. How powerful is that? From egg to fork, we are actively improving everything. We are represented in 25 countries and all together provide 8 million meals a day. Not only I started my whole career and my job with safety culture, it started because of safety culture. And that's how I transitioned from the production floor to the technical department. 33,000 client organization. And we serve about 80 million consumers daily. We're innovative and we're risk takers and we're always trying to find a better way to do any type of activity. It's completely changed the way I work. How can we increase the flexibility for our customers like Sodexo to manage this at scale? Unbelievable usage of our products. So if you're a customer, please stand up and let us recognize the incredible work that you're doing. When was the last time you saved a life? You might not be able to point to when it was, but we know we are making a huge difference with safety culture. First of all, yes, of course, we will uh, we'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted a drink. That was it. Instead of getting bogged down by challenges and constraints, try asking, what if? Why not? And don't be afraid to kill bad ideas either. If you've tried something and it doesn't work, don't just keep doing it. I choose to get up and go to work. I choose to go to my in-laws for Christmas. If you replace your I have to's with I choose to's, you'll feel more in control and empowered, because you are. Some of you in this room will remember I did a stand-up back in August, and I finished that stand-up with this slide. I said that we would 10x that business. I kid you not, and this is a shout out to the entire team, but I kid you not, over the weekend, we hit that goal. Titles are for books. Right? If you're gonna go after a title, go after being known as being kind, or hardworking, or collaborative. If you've ever done something for someone else with no thought of reward, you have what it takes to be a leader. When failure shows up, you take the teaching points out of it, the positives, you scrap the rest, and you move on. We need to think of our words as either a scalpel or a sword. One's used to heal, and one's used to maim. When you go into your next conversation, it's not just about getting your point across, it's how does your point come across out the other side. I have never seen anything like that before in my life. Oh my God! What are you doing here in Christchurch? Transform the platform. Transform the platform. Challenge starts now. We've got 24 hours to build something that's going to bring value to our customers. So we're working on how we can use AI to make the onboarding experience better for them and understand the problems they're having. 100% we are going to win. Our team are trying to tackle heads up. Multiple customers mentioned how they're using it this week. We're looking at customizing the experience so that they get the right information that's most useful to them at each time that they open the app. that person gets attention to the right person. Come on guys, we've got 10 minutes left. Let's get this done. <laughs> Let's go, we've got to submit it now. Not long to go now, so I can't wait to see it all come to life. It's been an incredible week. I've never felt the kind of energy and excitement and just belief in what we're doing together. When you see the impact that we have every day on our customers all around the world, it makes it worthwhile. What matters is that you just tap into that part of yourself that makes you realise that we're capable of so much more every single day. The real value that you get out of this week starts now. It's what you do from this week that determines what you took out of it. Guys, give it up for our first place project. Team number 69, Question Bank. Woo! Well done.